Alright, um, hi, uh, today's manual, there's Thermo King installation manual, the SB230RR, SB330RR, single temperature sex system for domestic free railroad refrigerated car containers, DRC, and trailers on flat cars, real box cars, applications, TK54932-5-IM, revision, April 6, 2012, Intergulf Rand. Let me adjust this to, uh... Alright, SP230R, SP330R, single temperature systems for domestic rail refrigerated containers, trailer on flat car, rail box on... Railbox car applications, uh, copyrighted 2011, Thermo Key Corps, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, USA, printed in the United States, America. Revision 1, page 71 through 78, um, 71 through 72, revised content system checklist and renamed unit checklist. Uh, page 6, revised safety precautions to include new battery installation cable routing warning and cautions. Page 38, revision 3, added information on installing optional ultrasonic fuel level sensors into the fuel tank. Alright, revision 4, page 58, add note installing cargo link wireless door switches. Uh, introduction, this manual has been written to assist installation of Thermo King SB230RR and SB330RR single temperature rail ready units until the domestic railroad, dom sorry, dom domestic refrigerated container trailer on flat car railroad, rail box car that are specifically designed and built for refrigerated applications. Due to the complexity, you should not attempt to installation uh, to do this and attempt this installation unless you are experienced mechanic can safely lift three um, 34 kilos or 75 pounds or certified trainer and repair maintenance of diesel met power refrigerator systems have a basic understanding of electricity electrical wiring have necessary tools and equipment to complete the installation. This manual is published information purposes only. Thermo King may not, makes no representation warranties expressed implied with respect to information recommendation descriptions contained here. Information provided should not be regarded unless all inclusive and covering all contingencies. And further information is required with the Thermo King, Corpora uh, Thermo King Corporation Services Department should be consulted. Thermo King warranties shall not apply to any of the equipment which has been so installed, maintained, repaired, altered as if the manufacturer judgment is to affect its integrity. Manufacturers shall have no liability to any person in need of the personal injury, property damage, or any other direction, indirect, special, and consequential damages whatsoever arising out of this manual and information recommendations and descriptions contained herein. Table of contents, safety precautions, application requirements, swindling, uh, swinging radius and kingpin requirements, SB230RR and SB330RR unit dimensions, evaporator opening requirements, mounting hardware requirements, bulkhead dimensions, optional battery selection guide, group 31 battery dimensions, lifting bar dimensions, surface mounted status limited, status, surface mounted status light dimensions option, full flush status light opening dimension option, um, rear remote control dimension option, door switch uh, dimension option, required tools, unit installation, components, unpacking the p unit, installing the unit, installing the exhaust pipe, extension, or the, the uh, domesticated refrigerated car option, installing the drain hose, installing the fuel tank, 120 gallons aluminum, the, um, a domestic refrigerated container only, install the UFLS um, optional, the top of the... Trailer on flat car only, installing fuel tank 50 gallon 22 inch diameter aluminum, installing fuel lines, domestic railway, domestic refrigerated car and rail box um, car only, install fuel lines to um, trailer on flat car only, installing fuel line, fuel level sensor harnesses, domestic refrigerated car only, installing the UFLS harness um, option, t tra trailer on freight car only, installing the status light. Option, installing the remote control option, installing the door switch option, cargo watch sensor location option, cargo car connecting cargo watch sensor option, installing bulkhead option, installing the battery, installing the bottom of the pan of the trailer on flat car or rail box car in only program uh, in SR3 controller unit checklist. Alright. 
Safety precautions. Um, the exclamation triangle um, black, black box appears next to the point with a particular information. Danger addresses the circumstances that is encountered when will lead to death or serious injury. Warning addressing circumstances that if encountered may um, light, lead to death or serious injury. Caution addresses the circumstances that if encountered may cause it to equipment or minor in, equipment or minor injury. De danger. Never operate the unit uh, unit in the discharge valve closed because it could cause the compressors to explode, cause death or serious injury. Dam never attempt to apply sealed refrigeration system container because it, uh, it could explode and causing death or serious injury. Danger. Fluor fluorocarbon refrigeration in presence of any of the open flame or electrical short which produces toxic gas that are severe respiratory ir ir irritations capable of causing death. Danger, be careful when working with refrigerant refrigeration systems in any enclosed confined area with a limited air supply a trailer or container on the hold or hold with a ship. The refrigerant refrigeration tr tends to displace air and cause oxygen depletion, which may result in death or suffo suffocation. Warning, always wear glasses, glasses, safety goggles, refrigeration, liquid refrigeration, motor oil, battery acids can be permanently damaged to the eyes and see first aid on refrigeration oil. Warning, keep your hands away from the fans and belts until when until when the unit is running. This should be considered when opening and closing the compressor surface valves. Warning, make sure the gauge manifold hose is in good condition. Never let them come in contact with a belt or fan, motor, motor pulley, any hot surface. Warning, make sure all mounting bolts are tight and are correct length of the particular application. Warning, never drill holes in the unit unless absolutely necessary. Holes drilled in the unit may all, may weaken structural components and holes drilled in electrical wiring can cause fire explosions. Warning, when using ladders to install a service in the refrigeration system, always observe the ladder manufacturer safety levels and warnings. A work platform is recommended method for installation. Warning, explo exposed co coil fins are, war are very sharp and can cause painful lacerations. All right, safety precautions continued. Battery installation cable rounding. Warning, improperly installed battery could result in fire and explosion. Thermal king approved battery must be installed and properly secured with the battery tray. Warning, improperly installed battery cables could result in fire explosion. Battery cables must be installed and routed securely properly to prevent them from rubbing, chafing, and making sure contact with hot sharp rotating components warning do not attach fuel lines or any additional wiring harnesses to the battery cables as this could cause an electrical fire caution do not connect the manufacturer's equipment accessories to the thermo king unit this could result in severe damage to the equipment and avoid and avoid the warranty caution all set all unit electrical controls to the off position before connecting the battery cables to the battery to prevent from starting unexpectedly causing personal injury Caution, always wear protective clothing, gloves, and wearing handle, handling and selling batteries, battery acid, and can seriously burn within the exposed eye skins. Battery acid contact with the skin clothing would immediately with the soap and water, but the acid enter, enters the uh, your eye, immediately flood it with running cold water at least 20 minutes and get medical attention immediately. Caution, always cover the battery terminals to prevent them making contact with metal components during the battery installation. Battery terminals ground against the metal could cause the battery to explode. Our refrigeration. Warning, although fluorocarbon refrigerations are classified as safe refrigerants, costs and precautions may be observed in handling and servicing a unit which they are used. When released to the atmosphere or the liquid state, the fluorocarbons evaporate rapidly and freezing anything they contact. First aid, frostbite. In the event of frostbite, the objective of the first aid hour to protect the frozen air areas with further injury to warm them effectively air rapidly to maintain respiration. Eyes. For contact with liquid, immediately flush the eyes with large amounts of water to get proper medical attention. Skin. Flush air with large amounts of lukewarm water. Do not apply the heat to remove these contained clothing and shoes. Wrap, wrap burns with dry, sterile, block, dr bulky dressing to protect the infected area. Injury. Get medical attention when contaminated clothing went for before reuse. Inhalation. More, move the, more victim to the fresh air of this, and use CPR to mouth to mouth ventilation and necessary to save the victim until the arrival of the emergency medical personnel. Refrigeration oil. Warning. Avoid refrigeration oil contact with eyes. Avoid prolonged repeated contact with refrigeration oil and skin collect. Clothing was thoroughly air and or handling refrigeration oil preventing ir ir irritation. First aid note, in case of the eye contact, immediately flush with plenty of water for at least 15 minutes. Call a physician, wash skin, and soap and water. All right, application requirements. Um, 
approximate weight of the SB230R and the SB330R refrigeration unit only 742 grams or 1,635 um, pounds. The front wall requirements, domestic refrigerated contaminate, uh, domestic refrigerated containers requirements, um, danger of the front wall, the container must structurally be strong enough to safely support and combine weight of the Thermal King refrigeration and the fuel tank with the mounting hardware, fuel capacity of the diesel fuel. Trail line flat car requirements, danger of the front of the wall of the trailer must be structurally strong enough to safely support the weight of the Thermal King refrigeration. Rail box car danger, the front of the wall of the rail box car must be structurally strong enough to safely support a combined weight of the Thermal King refrigeration, the fuel tank with the mounting hardware and fuel capacity of the diesel fuel. Evaporator opening requirements. Important the location of the evaporator opening on the front wall of the um, domestic rail refrigerator container in the top trailer on flat car or rail in the box car is critical to proper insulation operation with Thermo King CC. Evaporating operation requirements on page 10. Unit mounting hardware. Danger. Using the mounting hardware other than specified in selling the refrigeration units called for the severe damage equipment void with the warranty for the cause of the personal injury to death. Important the location of the unit mounting bolts in the front wall of the domestic rail refrigeration container. Trailer on trailer on the flat car or rail in the box car is critical of proper insulation. See the mounting hardware requirements, page 12. Unit dimensions important. Adequate clearance must be provided to allow the root server service maintenance in the Thermal King unit. See the SB230RR and SB330UR unit dimensions on page 9. Fuel tank danger. Improperly installed fuel tank and load with a seriously injury to death. Consulting with a domestic refrigerator container and trailer on flat car or rail in the box car manufacturer. Specific details on the proper fuel tank installation rec rec recommendations. Kingpin dimensions. Caution. Minimum distance from the kingpin for the front of the trailer must be at least 125 millimeters or 40.35 inches or severe damage. Equipment will result. Vary this dimension before installing unit C. The swinging radius kingpin requirements on page 8. Swinging radius clearance. Caution. The minimum clearance required for the swinging radius must be 1,664.2 1, millimeters or 65 point. 5.2 inches severe damage in equipment will result verifying the dimensions before the installation unit C. Swinging radius kingpin requirements on page 8. Alright, your swinging radius kingpin requirements. Alright, E is um, 72.85 inches. D is, uh, so these are E, D, E. Uh, they go E from right to, or um, left to right, A, B, C. Um, 51.43 inches. 56.27 inches for B, 61.25 inches for C, 67.1 inches for D, 72.85 inches for um, D, E, and the swinging radius, um, A, 24 inches, B, 30 inches, C, 36 inches, D, 42 inches, E, 48 inches. All right, your front view is 76 inches by 76.11 inches, 83.47 inches. Top view, 65.32 inches, 32.99 inches, 21.43 inches. 20, radius of um, 28.85 inches. All right, your side view um, shows the uh, top is a... Uh, 23.26 inches, 3, um, 3 and 4.30.4 4 inches, 46.56 inches, 30 radius of 34 inches, 8 and 8.0.9 8 inches, 4 4.0 inches. Rear view, um, 87 18.75 inches, 2.05 inches, 14.10 inches, 8.08 .08 inches, 13.9 inches, 11. 65 inches, 4.37 inches, 45.28 inches air inlet. Um, evaporator opening requirements. Evaporator opening requirements. Important the location of evaporator opening the front wall is critical to proper insulation operation of thermal king unit. Vary all dimensions before installing the unit. The evaporator opening must be square and diagonal measurements must be of 3 plus or minus 3 millimeters or 0 0.12. Uh, inches. The gasket surface around the opening must be at least 76.2 millimeters or 3 inches wide flat by 3 point, plus or minus 3.2 millimeters or 0 0.05 the inch free rivets and seams and bolt heads. 
All right, your evaporator opening. Um, the cross from the top is 70 inches, then 35 to the center, 35 inches. Then from the right down, um, 4.6 inches, 39.8 inches, 49.8 inches. And then across the bottom again, we have 66.80 inches, 33.40 inches, 4.0 uh, 4. inches. 46 inches um, from one uh, from um, 46 inches, 8 inches, 30.25 inches. All right, mounting bolts. Danger. Eight, uh, eight mounting bolts must be installed properly to so um, secure the unit of the front wall of the container, the trailer, the rail, box, car. Failure to do so results in severe damage to equipment. Board warranty caused the personal injury to death. Important, the location of the unit mounting bolts in the front of the wall is critical to the proper unit installation. All unit mounting, mounting hardware must be mounting hardware must be square in front wall, securely fastened, allowing the mounting, mounting bolts to be torqued at 82.n.9 meters, 60 feet of pounds for outside of the container. Mounting bolts of the 1.5, 13 unit count, um, 28 roll thread with a grade 5 medium carbon seal zinc plated with a diochrome 8 finish. Mounting bolts extend with a minimum of 57.2 millimeters or 2.25 inches and a maximum of 63.50 millimeters or 2.5 inches beyond the front wall. Matching low locking notes flat washer supplied must be used to secure the unit. Are your mining hardware requirements? Shows these bolt requirements around that 2.25 2 2 inches or 2.5 inches. All right, your bulkhead dimension. Thermo King recommendation for the, using a bulkhead. Contact your Thermo King dealer for the specific part number. The return airflow restricts with the return airflow adversely affects the performance unit, but they also directly behind the evaporator room. Return air inlet must be not restricted. A bulkhead fiction function. A bulkhead is used to keep the return of the airflow from being restricted if the load shift the bulkhead also prevents the load from shifting into the return airflow passage on the front wall and into a module container. You know, the typical bulkhead bulkhead shown dimensions are approximate. Are your bulkhead dimensions on option is sixty five point three inches, then by down seventy seventy length um seventy point five inches and then eighty five point eighty five point five inches with a thickness of uh, five point twenty five inches. Are your battery selection guide? Refer to the service of bulletin TNT 446 for more information regarding battery selection and maintenance. Caution, do not connect other manufacturers' equipment accessories to a Thermo King unit. This could result in severe damage of equipment and void the warranty. And properly specified battery electrical wiring electrical controls were designed to operate and maintain only for the Thermo King refrigeration system factory authorized Thermo King options. Trailers are used and designed with 112 volt group with a 31 battery supply with the installer. The battery must be suitable to deep so cycling, heavy duty and rated with a minimum of 95 amps per hour. Now see the following table for the Thermo King improved with the batteries. Refer to the service bulletin TNT446 for more information regarding the battery selection maintenance. All right, the battery application t um, table shows the 7, 750cca wet cell Thermo King Relay Max 750S um, PN number 203731 thermo threaded stud PN number 203731 um, SA post wet, wet cell technology better suited for warmer climates, less cranking power, low ambient temperatures. 18 to 24 expected, um, 20 more months expected light. See no, it was pot and below. Chose from southern climates. All right, also, you have the 925 CCA wet, um, CCA wet cell thermo king relay max 925 N PN number 2003733 threaded stud PN number 2003732 AM SA post wet cell technology better suited for the colder climates, high cranking power, low ambient temperatures, 18 24 months expected life site. See belt note below, choose the northern climates. All right, the 1150 CCA dry, dry cell comment, uh, dry cell uh, AGM Thermo King EON uh, PN number 2003550 thread stud 203551SA post dry cell AGM technology better suited for the, all the applications high cranking power, low ambient temperatures suited for extreme temperatures, best solid cycling application cycle, century use, five to seven years expected life. All right, note when the battery life um, maintenance requirements are determined to operating in the environment with the discharge, dish rate, cycle when the battery is inserted with the high ambient temperature, the frequent discharge, and it will shorten the well cell, wet cells, battery life, overall the life's um, expectancy, increased maintenance requirements. 
All right, you have a 13-inch um, battery, um, another 13-inch battery. The width is a actually 6.67 inches. Um, you have an 8. As tall as 8.53 inches, and from the terminal you have a 0.87 inches or 0 0.8, 0 0.8 inches. All right, your lifting bar dimensions. Um, danger: Do not use the forklift and install the unit that could result with the severe damage of equipment void of the warranty, cause personal injury or death. Um, warning: Thermo King U requirements requires a three-point lifting bar. Safety lift and installing unit's lifting bar can be made with a, um, from drawings provided by the C lifting bar dimensions. Warning: All hardware usably assembled lifting bar must be um, DIN number 3931 class 10.9 SA grade not eight. The use of hardware other than specified may cause the personal injury, severe damage to the evaporator, void the warranty. Warning, the lifting bar lifting device combined must be applied the support minimum weight of 1,360.8 kilo, kilo, kilos or one and one half tons. One recommended material, 76.2 millimeters or 3.3 inches by 12.7 millimeters or a half inch. Um, mild steel. Use four chains, lengths of looks, clevises, pins, and strength equals the lifting total capacity hoist mechanism meeting all safety standards. Three bolt together the maximum strength and safety. One forged clevis pin, forged chain lengths, and locking master chain link. All right, your lifting bar dimensions. Um, one, one was your forward clevis pin, the half inch by three inches. Um. Uh, um, three inch by nine, nine and a quarter inches, twenty-four and fifteen inches, three inches. All right, two. Um, your four change link is over here on the Thermo Kings. Um, also one, two, and three shows the um, clevis pins for the chain link and the uh, master chain link. Um, and then across the bottom you have one, two, and three and four. The four chain link, the link master link. Spread out three inches by six inches by thirty-two and a half inches long. There's sixty-three and a half inches long, six-inch gap at the um, between two, three, and three, um, where there's a brace, um, which is five and fifty is the end of an inch, and three and a, three inches on the outside, eighteen and point five inches. All right, surface mount st um, status limited dimension option. Contact your Thermo King, King dealer for specific parts of the deal. Um, part number. Standard d d display fuel combo dis dis um, display. 7 inches by um, 2.75 inches by 0 0.219 inches in the round screw holes by 3.5 and 10 inches. 7.5 inches by 2.7 inches between bolt to bolt. Um, triple combo display, 2.75 inches from bolt to bolt. Radius is, uh, these two bolts are brought in 5.6 millimeters. And it's the, the thermal count combo is 7 inches long by 350 inches, or 7 inches long by 3.275 inches at the bolts. All right, your flush man and status light uh, opening dimension option. Contact your thermo king dealer for specific parts. Five inches by seven inches recessed hole in the trailer wall. Um, it shows the grooves at of one point seven five inches. Uh, and no, the dimension shall accommodate the flush mounted with the standard display, standard fuel combo display, and triple combo display. All right, your rear remote control dimensions option. Contact your thermo king, king dealer for specific part numbers. The controller is actually um, 9.24 inches, and uh, the uh, corner is 40, 0 0.45 inches and then from the bolt, um, and 8.3 quarter inches to the next bolt, and then 2.9 inches down from the top of the outside to the center of the bolt, um, 4.38 inches of the height of the controller, um, the width is actually one five sixteenth of an inch by one nineteenth of an inch and seven seven sixty two of an inch. Controller box on the on the right, um, eight point thirty five inches, uh, five by five point eight eight inches, um, ten point twelve in, twelve inches. The radiuses are t um, are two point seven two inches, one and one half, one point two inches, one and four two inches. 1.42 inches, 0 0.28 inches, 3.27 inches, 1.57 inches. Are your door switch dimensions option? Contact your Thermo King dealer for specific power and numbers. Magnet, 1, 110 millimeters, 19.1 millimeters, 91.4 millimeters, 16.5 millimeters thick. 10 point millimeters thick um, on the switch. The blank page is at 110 millimeters by 38 millimeters by 70 millimeters. 
All right, required tools, safety glasses, drill, drill bits, tape measure, mechanic tools, lifting bar, working platform, recommended torque, wrench, for forge, eye bolts. No equipment should, such as scale gauges, refrigerator leak detectors, and torque wrenches should be in good working condition and routinely calibrated to show accurate readings. It's cool. Um, glasses, drill, to drill bits, tape measure, tool, wrenches, eight uh, gauge, 11 work area, 9 work beam, 9 uh, forged eye bolts. Alright, unit installation components. Lock nut washer, 1.5 by um, 13 count washer, 1.5 self tapping screws, clamps, cable ties, fuel line fittings, 1 quarter inch and 3 eighths of an inch. Drain the house, hose check valve, exhaust pipe extension hanger clamps, and domestic um, refrigerated. Container option. All right, you have your nut washer, nut, um, screw, hangers, clips, bolts, U bolt, eye bolt, um, you clamp, drain hose, check valve, um, seven is uh, drain fuel fit, fuel line fittings. Seven is a. Uh, Hangers and clamps is eight. All right, unpacking the unit. Danger, do not use the forklift to install the unit. This could result in severe damage to the uh, equipment and void of the warranty of the causing personal journey, injury, or death. Um, warning, the thermal king requires three-point lifting bar safely lift and install the unit's lifting bar can be made with the drawers provided. Units are shipped attached to a disposable wooden pallet wrapped with a protective guard board plastic stretch wrap. To avoid unnecessary damage to the unit, um, place graded unit near the container and prior to this removal. Do not use a sharp knife to remove the stretch, stretch, stretch wrap or cardboard wrap as damage to the interior of the unit will result. Unpacking the unit. Carefully remove the plastic stretch, stretch wrap from a unit. Carefully remove the top of the cardboard cover. The carefully remove the outer cardboard wrap. Remove the installing the kit boxes, puddle panel, any other loose components from the rear of the unit. Remove the tie bands between the fuel lines of the rear of the unit. Attach the forged eye bolts and three-point lifting bar to the unit. Remove the, the handling and the unit from the wooden pallet. Unit is now ready for installation. All right, your unpackaged unit. All right, installation of installing the unit. Warning, do not use the forklift install the unit that could result in severe damage to equipment. Avoid the warranty each cause of the personal injury of the death. Warning, the using only look locking hooks to safely lift the unit. Fairly using lock hooking hooks could result in severe damage to the equipment and avoid the warranty cause of the personal injury to the death. Detail one. All right, um, warning, Thermo King requires three-point lifting bar. Safely lifting the install unit's lifting bar can be made with the drawing points provided. Units installation. Note that the domestic refrigerator container applications of only own and bolt them um, unbolt and remove any of the upper crossing bearings to support the container of the interior with the installation unit using a three point lifting bar reinstall the unit at, and if, after unit installation. Install two five eighths of an inch eleven forged lifting eye bolts and install are supplied to the thread holes locked in, located in the top of the unit in detail one. To attach the lifting bar on the bolt eye from the unit to support the bracket lifting up the front of the wall, opening the line eight mounting studs of the container while the mounting holes in the front and the unit place the unit in flush with the front of the wall with the container and install the supplied lock nut flash washers out of the, each of these mounting studs, tightening the mounting hardware securely. See the access mounting holes in detail too. Note all no nuts and hold the unit with the front wall should be elastic stop nuts and lock top provided with the insulation kit. All right, um, excess mounting holes detailed to top side mounting hole through the hinge roadside grill, center mounting hole through the hinge roadside grill, lower side mounting hole through the hinge, side, uh, hinge roadside panel and control box hole, center side mount hole through the hinge lower cu curbside door, lower side mounting hole hinge through the curbside, high, curbside panel, eight center side mounting hole through the hinge curbside grill, Nine turps, um, top side mounting hole through the hinge skirt side grill, and ten top center mounting from the top unit. All right, these are the different arrangements: one, two from the lifting bar of the uh, unit for the installing the unit, and then from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, installing the exhaust pipe extension um, domestic refrigeration container. 
Insulation containers with the hanger um, support and install the exhaust hanger on, onto the exhaust hanger support located on the container. Install the extension pipe on the end of the exhaust pipe of the unit. Install the exhaust clamp for the shown on the tight and leak securely. Install the container without the hanger um, support fins. If the container does not have exhaust hanger support, one will need it with the fabricated installed exhaust hanger support dimensions on page 33. The dimensions shown with the reference only with the varying dimensions of the particular container, adjusting accordingly. Accordingly, um, the fabricated exhaust hinge support loosely, loosely until you install the exhaust pipe extension onto the end of the exhaust for the pipe of the unit. Three, position the exhaust hanger and the exhaust clamps is shown. Tighten the clamp to secure the extension pipe on the end of the unit, marking the location. This exhaust hanger support on the container. Weld the, the hanger support securely to the container. Tighten exhaust clamps and securely. Installing the exhaust pipe extension to the domestic um, refrigeration container, exhaust hanger support dimensions. Uh, the exhaust hanger support rod at scale 1.5 is in 1.625 inches, 1.05 inches by um, radius of 45 degrees at 1.58 degrees. Um, exhaust hanger support rod and the um, drill holes for the side of the um, for the one side you know the dimensions shown in the reference also verify the dimensions of the particular container on adjusting accordingly all right installing the drain hose installation trailer trailer on the flat car or on the rail box car application drain the hose sh should run straight down with the trailer with the rail of the box car wall from the unit with the nose kinks and sharp bends, secure the screws and clamps provided with an insulation kit. Three, cut off the excess hole attached to the drain closed connect. Check valves provided with the insulation kit at each one of the each for the hose. Domestic refrigerator container application. Domestic refrigerator container um, applications typically have the fuel tank mounted directly under the refrigeration unit that interfere with the draining hose routing the drain hose. will um, need the routine uh, routed off to one side and behind the fuel tank of the down. On um, the container wall, both um, root, route, root, both the drain hoses from one side um, behind the fuel tank drain hoses should run down from the unit with no kinks and sharp bends. Secure the screws and clamps provided in the installation kit. Cut off the excessive hose attached to the drain hose. Check valves provided with the installation kit with the end for the each for the hose for the cable ties. All right, and then installing the drain hose, the trailer on the flat car. Um, and the real box car on the left on the thermo king they showed the two bars one two and three um operations of the domestic where the fuel lines go and this shows the um thermo king domestic refrigerator car thermo king um fuel tank below that um, and all right, um, installing the fuel tank, 120-gallon aluminum d domestic re refrigerator container only. Refer to tk 550124 im domestic refrigerator container, 120-gallon aluminum fuel tank installation instruction. Installing the fuel tank, 120-gallon aluminum d domestic re refrigerator container only. Refer to tk 5524 im domestic refrigerator container, 120-gallon aluminum fuel tank installation instructions. Installing the UFSL um, option of the tra trailer on flat car only. Important installation information. The ultrasonic fuel level sensor, the UFLS, should be installed with the fuel tank before the tank is installed on the trailer. The fuel tank has been installed. The disconnect enabled a battery cable for the unit to disconnect the cabs of, of all the fuel lines drained with the fuel tank with remove the tank from the trailer. Do not connect the to the U you know, ultrasonic fuel level sensor until it has been installed into the fuel tank. Do not use the thread locking compounds so that they can cause stress in cracking the plastic sensor. Do not apply any type of grease get sealer. Use only the new gaskets applied within the ultrasonic fuel level sensor. Do not use the power tool for the tightening of the mounting hardware and the damage of the plastic sensor will result. Do not over tighten the mounting hardware and damage the plastic sensor will result. 1. Remove the and discard the excess cover of the gasket hardware from the fuel tank. Do not reuse any of these parts. Confirm the gasket surface area of the tank flange is clean. All right, pre-assembly. Note that the mounting holes of the sensor focus with the tube of the gasket, the fuel tank flange with non-symmetrical. The holes align with only with one position. The distance between the two mounting holes next to the notch of the C illustration further away from the H other than these two holes will be used the reference point to correctly align the components. 
Two, the ultrasonic fuel level sensor assembly should be pre-assembled before installing it into the fuel tank side of the gasket and the focus tube of the flanging, making it such that a pinhole in the gasket center between the two pounding holes next to the notch is shown. While holding the lower gasket in place, place the upper gasket onto the focus of the tube flange again, making the, sure that the pinhole in the gasket position between the two mounting holes next to the notch is shown. Place the sensor on the top of the upper gasket with the harness pointing towards the notch of the focus tube flange. Also, should uh, all holes should now be aligned. Install the 1032 and screws, lock 10 to 32 screws, lock washer flat washers onto the sensor held through the gasket hole of the hold of assembly together. All right, three, insulation in the tank. Inserting the assembly fuel tank line, um, making sure the notch is on focus tube of the line with the notch of the tank flange, but installing correctly with the sensor harness and point towards the fuel tank with the in, in, uh, end of the tank. Hand tightening with the five uh, mounting screws in the crisscross pattern, torquing them with 10 to 15 pound inches per pound. Do not over tighten the mounting hardware to damage the plastic sensor will result. The fuel tank is now ready to be installed. All right, this shows the pre-assembly condition of the pinhole mounting hole reference of the notch of the pinhole the discard and the sensor gasket focus tube of the gasket ultrasonic fuel level sensor fill cap. Um, all right, and now I'm going to split the tape and come back.